Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, today I'm doing an auto writing with Diana, and it's January 9th. It's uh, Catherine's birthday, but Diana's been after me for the last two days to do this auto writing. So I finally sat down and did this auto writing with Diana. This is the second writing I have done with her. So I just started by asking, are you there? Anything in brackets is me speaking? And she says, yes. Are you watching? <laughs> I wanted to say, what do you want? But I didn't want to be rude. Yes, of course. And what is your opinion? I honestly didn't know what she wanted. We are not to interfere in any way whatsoever. Can you tell us the outcome of some passing matters? Can you tell us the outcome of some passing matters? Or pressing matters? Andrew will be okay. This too shall pass. He has bigger fish to fry. This is the least of his worries. Sorry if you can hear my dog. <laughs> the <laughs> trouble and problem is the royals are raised in a bubble with little to no street smarts. That's honestly the truth. When, when they go out into the world, they are, they are sitting ducks for unscrupulous people and scammers and they seem to be magnets to them and they seem to be magnets to them just look at the ones who get into a web of trouble just look at the ones who get into a web of trouble Margaret for one. Andrew. Even David, King Edward. Even David wasn't immune. Philip to a degree. She seemed very agitated. And of course, my Harry. Like I found her spelling off, very agitated. They go out into the big wide world after years of coddling and they fail, they fall into the wrong hands or crowd, if you will. Now look at the royals who don't venture out into the world stay within 
the confines of their class and they manage just fine. The queen and my sisters, <laughs> she didn't mention her brother, but her sisters, Duke of Gloucester, <laughs> I know I said that wrong, Duke of Kent, and Edward, once he decided the world wasn't a good place for him. And the clock agrees with that as well. Even Charles think about Charles, his scandals are with other royals. <laughs> you can clearly see the royals who ventured outside their class. And she has that in, in quotes. You can clearly see the royals who ventured outside their class were surely hurt one way or another. Sorry, my dog is here. When I do this, she's, I think it's the spirit she can feel and she's right on my lap. And on the other side of the coin, non-royals have just as much of a difficult time adjusting but the difference is they do the adjusting behind palace walls isn't that the truth the royals go out to the public and it's splashed all over all the media all their stumbles and yet non-royals come in and adjust behind the palace walls in private. That's why I always wanted to take the boys beyond the palace walls to expose them to the world so they wouldn't be vulnerable to the inevitable snakes. They would be subjected to. So they wouldn't be vulnerable to the inevitable snakes they would be subjected to. Not all people are snakes, of course. But royals have a target on their backs. And as you can see, they get bit quite often. People who aren't snakes don't want, don't have the confidence to approach the royals, right? The royals are a very gullible group. They count on the people around them to protect them. Yeah, they never have to protect themselves. They always have people around them that are protecting them. I suppose you want to ask me about Harry. And then I reply, yes.
is he in trouble? That's all I ask. Is he in trouble? He needs to see this aspect of life so he discovers what he does not want. And she underlines that. He needs to see this aspect of his life. He does not know what he wants. So it's much better for him to discover what he doesn't, he does not want. Don't worry, he is being watched closely. There is no way the king would want any harm to come to Harry during his reign. And then she did this really weird thing with rain. She made like a happy face out of it with dark eyes and eyebrows. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> I don't know if you know what that means. Let me know. I don't mean to imply Charles is a selfish father, but he is king now. And that comes first and always will that's true the the crown has precedence the crown has precedence that's true even the queen had to live with that the palace doesn't want any the palace doesn't want anything too scandalous, scan, scandalous right now on top of Andrew, on top of Andrew's issues. Harry is safe. Once Andrew, once Andrew's issues no longer shake the headlines, take the headlines, then the announcement will come of the separation of Harry and Meghan. So I wonder if she's implying they're already separated. This They're waiting to make the announcement. I wonder what that is. Once Andrew's issues no longer make the headlines, then the announcement will come of the separation of Harry and Meghan. That's right. Then everyone will forget about Andrew for a while. See how that works? She seemed like very ad agitated. I don't know. Lady Louise will make a fine royal. So I wonder if we're going to get that announcement soon. But she's still in school, so wouldn't she finish her studies? There's more. A few more may join this year. Oh, a few more may join this year. They were waiting, but they will be pushed forward for good news stories. 
they are watching over in Denmark to see how that goes. I don't think she meant abdication. I think she meant like, how does that make good news that they have new royals and the new, um, see if they bring the brothers back, the grand, the, I mean, the grandchildren back. That's what I was getting. I, I wasn't getting that. They're waiting to see how the abdication goes. Not at all. They're waiting to see how the new royals fit in. They reintroduced Sarah so it won't be a surprise when she has a royal funeral that was sad and is buried on royal grounds. This too shall pass, Diana. And that was it. <laughs>